Hey guys, so welcome to Jazz Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you how to cut and paste hair. Um, this was a request video um, from a user. Um, I think I got what they mean. I'm not so sure. But anyway, this is what I think you're talking about. If not, um, let me know and I'll try my best to figure it out again. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so I opened this photo of this girl here. Um, and I went over here to the lasso tool. And I'm now just going to go around and just like select everything except for her face kind of like this just go around the edges like that uh yeah <laughs> and um this is the same technique you would use if you wanted to cut and paste the hair out of a person and pasting it onto another person although you just do the control x to cut it <laughs> rather than delete it so i hit the delete button and that deletes it now i'm going up here and i'm opening a photo that i have of some hair um, but if you wanted to use your own hair from another another um, uh, model or picture or whatever, just do what we did before with the uh, the pen tool, the uh, other tool, and it'll work fine. I just cut and pasted that. Um, I erased part of it, just as you saw. And I want this behind the girl layer so it blends in a bit. So I'm going to do a control T now so that I can actually um, resize it to fit her um, size of her head rather. Um, there may be some like little transparent of the background still there because it's not going to always be perfect but that's okay we'll fix that in the end. Um, and yeah so okay <laughs> well it looks kind of good I guess there we go. Okay and so I'm going to hit enter to get out of that screen of the that screen. Okay. Okay there we go. Now with layer one selected, um, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to select a eraser brush. Um, so select an eraser brush, soft brush of I think around 17 px um, or low or, or lower, whatever you want. Assign anything between those three, 17, 21, or 27. Um, and now you're just going to go on layer one and erase part of not a part of it, but just like blend in her face so it fits in with the hair like that. Okay. That looks kind of good right now. So um, with that now, um, I'm going to have some of her transparent because I'm going to move her hair a bit. So I have some of the transparent background still there. So with the transparent background still there, I went up here to the color swatches or and I selected um, the eye, well the eyedropper tool is automatically there. So the eyedropper tool, I selected part of the background color of the top background thingy. Yeah, top of the picture. And it gave me a, gr a gray color-ish. So. Um, I did that on a new layer, by the way. Yeah, you want to make sure you have a new layer when you do the background, if you have any of the transparent left. So then I did a click OK, and I did Control A, and it made it uh, suit the thing. So now it's like all blended in. And with that, I just uh, cropped it so that you didn't really see much of the background. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, hope this helped. Um, if not, um, leave me a comment or message, and I'll do my best to accommodate um, your request that you need. Thanks for watching, and as always, subscribe.